What is up guys, CJ here with Starter Builds, and in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to create your very own cutting board. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this, and this is a very DIY beginner friendly project. You could use scrap wood laying around your shop, you could go out and get some lumber yourself from a uh, lumber mill, uh, or you can go ahead to your local woodcraft or rockler and get a kit. Uh, this is actually a present for my brother's engagement party. So I actually went out and bought a kit. I went with the exotic kit from Woodcraft. I'll leave a link down in the description below to the one that I'm using. It's a little bit expensive, but I figure for an engagement gift, uh, this would be a great gift for a loved one or for a family friend. Um, but I'm gonna flip around here and show you what we got. So just at a glance here, we have the exotic uh, cutting board kit. Man, that is bright. There we go. So you'll notice here, this is a couple different pieces of exotic wood. There's some paduke in here, uh, maple, um, I believe some walnut too as well. So a couple different variations here. It comes bound like this. Uh, some of them are actually wrapped in plastic. Um, but essentially what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pop this out of here. We're gonna make sure that the layout is correct. Uh, I have my clamps here for the glue up. We're gonna be using Type Bond 3. Uh, you could use Type Bond 2, but Type Bond 3 uh, is waterproof. Type Bond 2, I believe, is water resistant. Um, and then also too, you're gonna need your sander. If you have a planer, um, that may come in handy too as well. I noticed some of these are a little bit different in thickness, um, but you could use a sander to get it all flush too as well. So we're gonna actually glue this up, let it sit for uh, about a day, and then we'll go back in and we'll plane it down or sand it down. We'll get the finish on there too as well. So stay tuned for the rest of the build. We got it glued up here. You'll notice this side is somewhat flat. However, this side definitely has some imperfections. I'm gonna have to run it through the planer and even it out. You'll notice there's some, some warping on that side at least. So we're gonna send that through the planer. If you don't have a planer, um, you could use a belt sander. Uh, or you could just sand it by hand. It's gonna take you a very long time, but I'm gonna just do very slow and shallow passes on the planer to get this nice and evened out.
right, so we've officially sanded everything to a smooth finish. I started with 80 grit, went to 120, then did a wet sand, then finished with 220. Um, both sides are very smooth. Now I'm gonna be going ahead and applying this cutting board oil and then this butcher block conditioner on top and we'll be good to go. We really want to let it soak in the grain, get it nice and soaked up, lathered up. You can always come back and wipe the excess off, but they're going to be getting a lot of use out of this, or if you're going to be getting a lot of use out of this, definitely want it to be soaked. I've seen other YouTubers and other, whoa, other woodworkers uh, put them in like bins and let them soak overnight. Um, but I don't have any fancy stuff like that. So we're gonna let this sit for a little bit and then I'll come back and wipe off some of the excess as well. It's looking like there's a good amount on there right now. Maybe a couple other areas where it needs to be evened out. But overall, I'm happy with the way it came out. Look at that. That is nice.